Good evening. Our big story tonight at 6, we're learning more about the Goodyear police lieutenant who was fired last week. Last night, our I-team first told you about Joe Pacello, who was in charge of internal affairs in the department. Turns out he had a history of disciplinary problems of his own. I-team reporter Bianca Bono has some of the audio recordings from one of those past incidents. I had a good buzz going, I would say, because I was drinking hard liquor. That's now former Goodyear Lieutenant Joe Pacello during a 2008 internal affairs investigation. And uh, the bartender was like double pouring the vodka and kind of not so much said it. 12 News investigative reporter Wendy Halloran obtained the audio recordings back in 2014. Pacello was in the hot seat after assaulting a Maricopa County Sheriff's deputy while the two were at a training conference in Miami. Did you at any time threaten to break his neck? You know, LT, I, I probably said it. I, I don't remember the at the moment. Um, I was upset. Records show Pacello grabbed the deputy by the neck with both hands and shoved him into a urinal, causing the deputy to hit his head and chip his tooth. How tight was he squeezing? It was pretty tight enough to kind of get my hair off a little bit. Pacello was ultimately suspended for two days following the assault. But it just seemed very minimal for the the crime committed. <laughs> Literally, the crime committed. 12 News speaking with a former Goodyear police officer about Pacello. Goodyear PD fired Pacello on Friday. His former colleague says the violence didn't stop in Miami. In 2010, she reported another incident involving Pacello. When I brought it forward, he said, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to get Joe in trouble? <laughs> that was his response to me. And they said, no, I didn't do this. I'm reporting this to you because he committed a crime. She says she was then blacklisted by Pacello and other colleagues, leading her to quit her job. A police spokesperson declined to give 12 News the results of that internal investigation, but over the course of the next decade, Pacello would get promoted, ultimately landing a position in charge of internal affairs investigations. Pacello has not responded to multiple attempts to reach him. More than ever, I want to encourage any officer that was in the position that I was in. The truth always prevails and it always comes out. It just may not be in the time or as quick as we would like. Again, Pacello was fired on Friday. The I-team has learned Chandler police investigated Pacello for sexual assault, but he's not facing charges. Goodyear said he was fired for violating departmental policies, and he has the option to appeal. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thank